What's up guys, welcome to True MTB. My name is Adam and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the 100% TerraTech Plus knee pads. These knee pads retail for 79 US dollars on the 100% website and I picked mine up from Fortnine which is a Canadian distributor and I got them for 96 dollars Canadian. 100% offers five different types of knee pads in their lineup, all with varying levels of protection and comfort. The TerraTech Plus pads that I'll be reviewing today are third in the lineup and are CE Level 1 certified for impact protection. I think these knee pads are a great option for somebody looking for a knee pad that's comfortable enough to wear all day, but also protective enough so that you feel confident when you're going downhill that if you do have a crash, they will be there to save your knees. So I'm going to quickly go over the five knee pads that 100% offers. So at the top of the list they have the Surpass knee pad which is their most protected pad. It's a CE level 2 impact rated and it's intended more for downhill and just aggressive riding. So the second in the lineup are the Fortis which are quite similar to the Surpass and they're CE level 1 certified. Third on the list we have the ones I'm reviewing today which are the TerraTech Plus pads and just below that they also have the TerraTech pads which are similar but slightly less protective. And at the end of the list they have the Basecamp knee pads. These are basically the most minimal pad that they offer and are intended more for cross-country use. So I've been riding these knee pads for the past couple months. I think they're a great option for somebody that rides kind of enduro and trail riding and just wants a pad that strikes a good balance between protection and comfort. All right, now I'm gonna go over some of the pros I have for this knee pad. So the first pro I'm gonna go over is just the fact that these knee pads are really comfortable and more importantly, they don't slide around on your knee at all. I've ridden in them for a couple hours and they don't move at all. They stay in the exact same place they were in when I put them on. And I think that's super important. And it's also nice that they're able to stay in place without having annoying Velcro straps or anything like that. They just use the silicone webbing that 100% has designed and I think it works great. This leads into my second pro of these pads and that is the fact that they don't have any annoying rubbing points. Now this has been a big problem for me in the past with other knee pads like the POC VPDs. After a couple of hours of riding in the POC VPDs, well, I would take off the knee pad and I would have these super annoying red marks on the back of my knees from where it's just been binding up and rubbing. And with these pads I don't get that at all, so that is great. The third pro I want to go over is the lateral protection that these pads have. Now it's not super thick, but there is some padding on the side of the knee. And I think that's really important because if you're riding and you slide out or you crash and you land on the side of your knee, you do want some protection there. So it's really nice that these pads have that. Now number four is the flex joint. So these pads are designed slightly differently from other knee pads on the market. They basically have a flex joint that separates the upper and the lower part of the knee pad so that the part that goes around your thigh is separate from the part that is over your knee. Now this is great because it really helps keep the pad in place because when your legs are bending back and forth it's not pulling on the lower part of the knee pad. This allows them to stay in place and it also keeps them very comfortable. The last pro I want to go over is the fact that they are quite well ventilated. Uh, they have a ventilated rear mesh on the back of the pad and this really helps let the heat out and keep things comfortable. Now I'm going to go over the cons. So I really like these knee pads and I don't have a ton of cons, but there are two things I want to go over. The first thing is that the upper band of the knee pad is pretty tight. Now when I first got these knee pads, I could barely get them all the way up to where they needed to be. And it was, it was a little uncomfortable, I'm not going to lie. But after a couple months of riding, they've stretched out nicely while still staying in place, which is important. So I just thought I'd mention this. If you're someone with bigger legs, uh, you might have a hard time getting these pads on. The second con I have is about the ventilated rear mesh. Now it's nice to have because it keeps things cool, but it's not super durable. I caught it really lightly on the back of my pedal pins and I ripped two holes in it. So that's just something to keep in mind. The back of the pad is super thin, so you have to be careful not to snag it on anything or it will rip. So overall, I think these pads are great and I would totally recommend them. They're comfortable, they stay in place, and they offer enough protection, especially with the added lateral protection on the side of the pads. I've had thinner knee pads in the past, like these Troy Lee ones, and they were nice because they were so thin, they were light, 
but they were not very protective and they also slid down my knees which was really annoying. I've also had the POC VPD that I mentioned earlier and they were more protective but just super uncomfortable. Overall, these are the best knee pads for sure that I've owned over the years. I just think they strike a great balance between comfort and protection and I think that's really all you could ask for. Okay, well, that's the review. So thank you for taking some time out of your day to watch this video. If you like the video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos in the future, hit the subscribe button.